Welcome to the Startup Grind. So Evan Williams sold Blogger to Google. He had left. He was starting this company, Odeo. Yeah. How, how did you meet him? Who introduced you to him? Or how, how did that initial well, meeting? It, it, was it through this? Was yeah. it the Foundation Capital? No, it was actually through uh, uh, Jeff Huber, who's one of the top execs at Google. Okay. So he went. He went to Harvard Business School back in the day. Um, fortunately, he's he's a, a good guy too. Who happened to go there? <laughs> and uh, and so. Uh, I was meeting with him, and and uh, and I was like, okay, I'm interested in these areas. And he goes, well, one guy you should really get to know is this guy Evan Williams. He's really sharp. He's starting this company, and I'm like, fill in the blanks. I'm like, Odeo, because huh. I like knew he'd started this company called Odeo. And he goes, you 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 really ought to meet him. Uh, he's a sharp guy. So he introduced me to Evan. And um, because you yeah. had been looking at the whole podcasting market, right? Oh yeah, but I you, thought it was going to be huge. Yeah. 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 And so they were on your radar as, hey, this is, this is potentially... Yeah, it was Odeo, and then it was a Pod Show was the other one. It was started by Adam Curry, who'd been a DJ for MTV, or VJ, I guess they called it. But, like, investing in a, company, investing in a tech company started by a rock and roll singer usually <laughs> does not work, as, as a general rule, compared to one started by a product guy. So, so I was like, I think Odeo's the one that has the better prospects, and, and probably Adam Curry wouldn't have returned my phone call or let me invest. But, but so, I mean, I saw Odeo and immediately, you knew. Uh, instant ignition, going to do this any way I can get in. Even if I have to trick people, I'm going to get in. And so you start talking to Evan. He, he can see you have domain expertise. You've been studying the market. You guys hit it off. How do you get in that deal? Because like, you, like you're saying, you're new to the valley. Uh, you know, you got a good introduction. But how... Was it something immediately where you said, hey, I'm, I'd like to invest in this on the spot? Or did you think about well, it? Or? Well, I wanted to right away. Um, but Derek, I mean, I got to be honest with you. This is one of those things where I, I think that it was the, it was the generosity of the entrepreneur. Sorry, I get a little emotional about it, but he had no reason to take my money. I'm, I'm not sure he could answer that question for you today. I think if you asked Ev, why'd you take Mike's money? I don't think he has an answer. I just think he was generous. And I think that um, I told myself what, whatever happened that, that we, would, we would remember that when we practiced the business, that we would, we would ne never forget that the entrepreneurs put us in business. Hmm. Sorry, I get a little emotional about it. But, but, um, it's, it's important to remember because it's the same thing like with Kevin Rose, like Kevin Rose at Dig, hotly contested deal, um, is another thing where there's no reason I was going to get in. And I threatened to go on a hunger strike in his apartment, you know, if he didn't <laughs> let me get in, which was an unconventional tactic. But um, so I got in on that deal. But those were the two entrepreneurs that I first backed, you know, Evan Williams and Kevin Rose. And um, that was a pretty good start. 